Hello, everybody. Just wanted to do a short, uh, you know, straight to the point, sweet little video um, on how to replace your build plate for the Ender 3. Um, this does apply to pretty much anything with a magnetic build plate, the Ender 3 V2, the Ender 3 Pro, um, you know, anything like that, it, it applies. So here's the new plate I got in today. I just wanted to show you guys because like after two years, a lot of stuff happens there. There's parts of the build plate missing and all that. It can get a lot worse. So I just wanted to start, you know, to replace it now because, you know, it would look better and it'll print better, hopefully. So I got the original build plate is what they call it. But as you guys can see, there are little minor differences between the two. So right here, we've got the Ender 3 and then the Dragon in the middle. As this one, we got it right here. So there's just small little things, but pretty much that's just, uh, that, I guess it's just the updated Ender 3 version. So you guys can see it's not sticking very well to the original platform. I'm still not getting a crisp connection. So we're gonna be stripping off that part of the build plate and then we're gonna put on the new magnetic pad it came with. So let's just do that real quick. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share with someone who might need your help later on if they're brand new to 3D printing. I've been doing it for like four years now, so I understand the struggle at first. Uh, here's what we're, we're just gonna start now, I guess. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this finished. Uh, or this magnetic plate off here. And I think I'm just gonna use an X-Acto uh, chisel blade. That's what I'm gonna call it here. But yeah, you can just try to use one of those. Okay, I got right under the edge. And once you get enough of it, you can just peel it right off. It's pretty difficult. It's a little strong. All right, there we go. It took me a little bit there, but we actually got it done. So here's the old one. You can kind of smell it once you take it off, but it does smell like a little bit of adhesive of some sort. The next step here is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take off whatever this is real quick. So there you guys go, you got most of it off, and I'll get what's left over. So what I've got here is some rubbing alcohol. Uh, just make sure, make sure please, that it's dry after you wipe it off. You just wanna get anything that was, you know, exposed to the build plate after peeling off those two things. And uh, yeah. So I still got a little bit of adhesive stuck onto my plate. I'm not quite sure how to remove it. Uh, the easiest way, but I don't recommend using the X-Acto blade unless you really absolutely need to. So, yes, make sure that you need it before you use it. So it seems like if you rub it long enough, you can get it to come off. All right, folks. So I was able to actually get it off and uh, it just, you know, you just rub it off with your finger and it's actually pretty easy. I'm just gonna go over it with some alcohol to make sure that it's not gonna uh, keep any particles while we're peeling and uh, sticking on that new build plate that we just got so that we don't waste any materials. Like that, okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my new magnetic plate make sure that it is facing the way it's going to stick best. Um, it's weird like that. So yeah, just make sure. So I'm just going to do a tester to make sure it's going to fit right. And it, it looks like it's going to fit just perfectly. So I think that's going to do it for me right there. Um, if you need to, just rub them out with your finger like that. And then I'm gonna make sure that this is right. Oh yeah. So it fit, it fits just cleanly. And then, yeah, so now we've got our new installed build plate. I hope this short video kind of held you guys off um, from the new printer review that I got going on over here. 
Um, we got a new printer. It's like twice the size of this printer, so we're gonna be doing bigger projects in the future. If that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure you subscribe so you guys can uh, see the next video of the new printer. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. And uh, now you got your perfectly low, uh, perfectly uh, stuck on bed. And make sure you guys re-level after this. I will be doing so um, soon. It's just, you know, at that point. Okay. See you guys. May the force be with you.